the limit of a function. In this video, we introduce the concept of a limit using an intuitive approach. We begin our exploration of limits by discussing how to evaluate the limit of a function by inspecting its graph. This video aims to build a conceptual understanding of limits. A function assigns an output to every input x. For example, consider the function f of x equals x squared. If you input 0, the output is 0. If you input 1, the output is 1. If you input 2, the output is 4. If you input 3, the output is 9. Observe that the output of a function changes as the input changes. The limit of the function at point P describes the behavior of the output as X moves closer and closer to P. Before going on to the limit, let's take a close look at the movement of X values. Let's pick a point on the X axis, say 3. We can approach 3 by starting from the left side of 3, or by starting from the right side of 3. Observe that if we approach 3 by starting from the left, we walk across the values less than 3. Approaching from the left is denoted by x approaches 3 from the left, and we place a negative sign above 3. Here, the negative sign indicates the left side. The behavior of the function values, or y values, as x approaches 3 from the left side is called the left hand limit at 3. If we approach 3 by starting from the right, we walk across the values bigger than 3. Approaching from the right is denoted by x approaches 3 from the right, and we place a positive sign above 3. Here, the positive sign indicates the right side. The behavior of the function values, or y values, as x approaches 3 from the right side is called the right hand limit at 3. Ok, let's summarize the results. The definition of the left limit, we write the limit of x going to c from the left of f equals l, and say that the left limit of f is l if the function value keeps getting close to l as x approaches c from the left. The definition of the right limit, we write the limit of x going to c from the right of f equals l, and say that the right limit of f is l if the function value keeps getting closer to l as x approaches c from the right. These left and right limits are called one-sided limits. Now, I will introduce a new definition, the two-sided limit. We write the limit of f as x approaches c equals l if the function value keeps getting close to the same value l as x approaches c from either side. This means you can come from either side. The two-sided limit is defined only if the right limit and left limit are both defined and their values are equal to l. Now, let's go over some examples. We are asked to evaluate the right limit, left limit, and limit at each point. If the limit is undefined, we write undefined for the part where x equals 4. So here we are asked to find the limits. First, let us find the right limit at x equals 4. We have to approach 4 from the right side. We will start from the furthest point on the left where the graph starts. This red dot shows the x value at the furthest point. To get the y value, we have to first reach the graph from this point. So, we reach the graph and this is the point on the graph. Then we can get the y value. We have to reach the y value now. This is the x value and then the point on the graph right above x gives its y coordinate.
Now, let's observe what happens as we approach. As this X coordinate approaches 4, observe the behavior of the Y coordinate. As X approaches 4, we can see Y approaches 8. Therefore, the left limit of F at 4 is 8, which we represent in symbols as To find the right-hand side limit, we start our motion from the furthest point on the right-hand side of the graph. First, we pick the X value. Then, to find the point corresponding to that X coordinate on the graph, we draw a vertical line, identify the point where that line meets the graph, and then draw a horizontal line to identify the corresponding y-coordinate. Now, the y-coordinate is given by this point. As x moves towards 4, we have to check the motion of the y-coordinate. We can see that as X moves towards 4, Y is moving towards 8. Therefore, the right limit of F at 4 is 8. Which we represent in symbols as Now, because the right limit and left limit are defined and equal to 8, the two-sided limit is also defined and equal to the common value 8, which we represent in symbols as the value of f of 4 is 8. It is the same as the limit at x equals 4. As you will see in the later example, this is not always the case.